Zips Football with Terry Bowden, presented by Wentz Financial Group, is brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. By your Akron Canton Bryant Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another week of Zips Football with head coach Terry Bowden, brought to you as always by the Wentz Financial Group. Well, last week we said this game with Bowling Green was going to be one of the more important games of the season. It was the opening game of the Mid-American Conference. And, Coach, it's always great to win that first one, isn't it? No, it really is. And it's the first TV show we've had where we've beaten Ball State That's since right. I've been here. So exercise that demon. But it was a great win. On the road, they needed the win. We needed the win. It's an Eastern Division team uh, in our conference uh, and a MAC win on the road. Just a great finish. And we had to come from behind. Yeah. We got ahead, then fell behind. And the players were resilient and fought and came back. Great victory. Uh, offense, defense, and specialty teams came through in a lot of ways. Some of the things we didn't do well early, we came back and corrected. Like coverage. A lot of our kick coverage really came out in the second half. So great team victory. Yeah. Uh, we lost Warren Ball yeah. uh, and a tough injury for our for our star running back, but we've got a couple others that jumped right up. And as teams that, that win football games do, somebody steps up always uh, and continues to play. Very impressive, Coach. Your team was down 23-20 to 20 in mm. the second half and came back and won that thing, two uh, late touchdowns to ice it. Well, we did. You know, we came out second half and turned the ball over and, uh, and got them a score and got them two scores, and they got ahead of us. But that's where we really came back and showed, I think, what this team's made of. And, and you know, last week we came back all the way at the very end just to see the other team come back. And this week we came back again. I think this team really believes in itself. They fight hard. They're willing to pay the price for four quarters. And I think that's what led to the victory uh, on Saturday, Saturday night. Okay, let's uh, go back to Doit Perry Stadium up at Bowling Green State University. Beautiful night for football up at uh, Bowling Green. First half highlights brought to you by Summa Health Systems. It was a beautiful day. The wind just died down uh, as they had the flyover for the game. It was a military day there. And uh, it's always windy in Bowling Green, it seems like. It's <laughs> Pretty flat over there. Place. Pretty flat. But they come back out very first play, first drive, there's Darian Daly making a nice tackle on the pass. They come back, they throw the ball, watch here right here, great tackle there, great cause of fumble by uh, Hauser, and then picked up by Alvin Davis, got it down to the 18-yard line, first series, we get the turnover, just like last week, we come back offensively, that's a great, Kevin Gladney makes the catch to the 10-yard line, nice job there making the catch, come back, nice job, Warren Ball in the opening series, made a nice run down to the two, three-yard line. On the play, watch this naked bootleg, fake the dive, run the bootleg out to the side. A.J. Coney will come across the middle, make the catch. A minute and a half into the game, we're up, third, we're up seven to nothing. That's a great start for our team right there. They come back, though. Here's a big play. They come back, make the interception. Here's one that'll get you. We make a great interception. Jordan George makes the interception. They make the hit on Jordan George. And then they get the recovery. You know, you don't work on ball security no. quite as much on defense. You cause fumble, but not not getting the ball fumble. They come back and they turn it. We turn it right back over to them. They drive down, and now you're seven to seven. Except they muff the snap, muff the hold, and we block the kick. So we're up seven to six. And that's kind of important down the road as we get back to the game before the interception to win the game. There's where we lose Warren Ball. He gets wrapped up by the ankle. Then the the pursuit comes and turns him around. Tough injury right there. We got to come right back. Trayvon Chapman making a critical third down catch. He makes so many important third down catches over the middle. He had a couple of nice catches on Saturday just as well. There's A.J. Coney coming, fighting for extra yardage up to the 50-yard line on the next drive. As we come back, moving the football so well. Oh, that was the pass interference right there as they try to stop us. Austin Wolf, the flag, you can see it coming in right there. Austin Wolf continues to be our go-to receiver. Here we come right back to him. He gets wide open. Perfect pass. Perfect pass by Tommy Woodson as he had his two touchdown passes his second of the day. I think he surprised us some cornerbacks with his speed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's more of a power guy, but he had a few, he had yeah. a little bit of outside moves, and there's oh, us yeah. missing an extra point. But I'm very disappointed in that. But we come back, nice play there on the tackle by Ulysses Gilbert. Gilbert had a great day uh, in, on the defense, as he always does. Man, we almost got the intersection. Alvin Davis making the hit. Everybody gets around, finishes off. Ulysses Gilbert again finishes them off for the tackle right there for the loss. We come back with the football. Now we've got our other backs in the game at the end of the first quarter. 
Nice job by Van Edwards. He had 70 yards rushing. There's the, there's the quick speed sweep, we call it. We stop him nicely. Team effort to stop him. Comes the ball right back. And we insert Cato Nelson, our backup quarterback, who can run the ball really well. He comes right out with a huge 20-yard gain or so on the first time he runs the football. Throws a little. They blitz the cornerback. He recognizes the blitz. Throws the hot route to Quadarius Smith, who makes a nice play there. We come right back to Tommy Woodson. Throws it to Coney, one of his five catches, right down to the five-yard line. We come right back. Nice run here. Watch Van Edwards right the middle. Very good inside runner. Again, last year when we lost Warren Ball in the second game, these two backs, Van That's Edwards right. and Manny Morgan, played throughout the season. They are veteran backs. Big fullback right there as we tackle their fullback, and they bring the ball back down. Here's their trick play. Double reverse pass back to the backside. Guy running the original reverse for the touchdown play. Tough one there as they get the touchdown right there and come back on us. We make the bootleg again, throw a nice pass out to A.J. Coney on that one. Nice run here. You'll see uh, Tommy Woodson making a nice play. Third down and two. He makes the first down on a third and two. Critical play right there. 37-yard field goal. Hopefully we can make. Just misses it short. Comes up short. Didn't hit the ball cleanly. Came up short. We came away without that field goal there. But we're up 20 to 13 at half. And, uh, and again, you'd like to get those points at the end, but we, we've got a lead at halftime. Our players know how important it is. And uh, you go in that locker room now, just try to correct a few things and come out there fired up and ready to go. Exactly. Hey, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to take a close look at quarterback Thomas Woodson getting a little bit better every week. We're back right after this. The difference with Once Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. I imagine everyone to be my mother, my father. Truly give of yourself, to give of your heart. I just treat them like I would want to be treated. To feel like they're a welcome guest of ours. Being genuine uh, by showing compassion for others. By going above and beyond. You're not just there as a provider, but there to help them on a personal level. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. Well, senior quarterback Thomas Woodson getting a little bit better every week. Right now, let's meet the young man from Western Pennsylvania. It's tough. I had to watch him play football, play the game. I want to be out there helping him, knowing I can help him. And I can't do nothing about it. Uh, just, just watching him spring, a whole lot of rehab, watching the spring ball, telling the other players uh, just, to, just to help him, you know, just telling them what I know, try to tell them everything I know, and other quarterbacks as well. Well, just a lot of rehab. You know, he's a leader. He's probably different because today as coaches, you know, he's really quiet a lot of times. But, you know, I know that the guys in the huddle respect him a lot. And when he speaks, they do listen. I think it's, it's actually been a natural thing um, since we, me and him are such good friends. Uh, I think it's just a trust thing. Uh, I came here in the spring and I, was, I showed I was really dedicated to switching positions. I think he brings a lot of confidence. He, he brings a lot of football intelligence. You know, he's somebody that studies the game a ton. Uh, he, he really understands what we want to do offensively and that makes my job a little bit easier as a coach. And you know, it's good that I've been able to coach him for five years. So at this point in time, you know, it's, it, he's heard me say a lot of the same things over and over again. So he, he understands how I think and he, a lot of times he knows what I'm thinking before I have to do it on, on certain stuff. So it, that's a really awesome thing to have. I want to. I want to teach. I want to teach, and I want to coach. Tom is, is definitely. He's he's really good around um, around around youth. I know when we had our our Zips family day and things like that out here, Tommy was was really hands on with the kids. He was showing them how to throw, uh, catch, run. He was you know encouraging them, telling them to stay in school and things like that. I, I've only seen good things from Tom and. Uh, and, and I'm really proud of him as a as a young man that's, that's been able to grow. He tries to, you know, grow those guys. You know, things that he's heard me say. He'll he'll give them, you know, tidbits of information because you know as a quarterback, you try to prepare them for everything that can happen. I, I would say that Tommy is like a brother to me, and you know, I, I look at him like family. Thomas Woodson, you've been uh, 
coaching him now for four years, and he's starting to get back to where he was before the injury, running the football with authority. Yeah, you know, I think the remarkable thing about about Tommy's experience is his journey. It was such a difficult right. journey. He had a very unusual injury that was that was very yeah. severe, uh, shoulder injury. They could not, they didn't detect through the MRI. He tried to go each week, couldn't quite figure out why he couldn't go, but yeah. it hurt so much, and and he went through that for about seven straight weeks. And at the end of the season, was able to locate the problem, have surgery, and then fight his way back and get himself established. And you're right, he's just now throwing yeah. the ball like he did. I go back to Marshall of his junior exactly. year when he threw so well. He's just now getting back to that. But he knows how to run our offense. You know, we're a 50% third down team. That is, that's a remarkable statement on a quarterback to be a great third down team because that's when the, the burden is usually on, except in short yards, the burden's on the quarterback. And so, he, you know, we kind of go right now as he goes, and he's got the ability – to get the ball and distribute it to the right receivers, make the right decisions. And so, you know, he's, had a, he's done a great job. But I think the thing that you're going to remember most about Tommy is the, the, the experience and the difficulties he's gone through to get him where he is today. So we're not thinking past Ball State, but we are proud uh, of him and how he's come along. You look around the Mid-American Conference, he probably has as much experience as any quarterback in the league. Oh, I don't think there's any question, you know. I mean, it's, it, he's, got, he's got the ups and downs of the injuries, yeah. but he has got definite times where he's going out there in huge football games and had to make great decisions. He's been in big football games against big, big people. Yeah. Uh, and so I don't think he's intimidated out there. The one thing you can see him when he's in the backfield, he's very comfortable changing plays, recognizing things, adjusting situations, yeah. and managing our offense. Exactly. We're going to go back to uh, Bowling Green State. University. The zip's down 20 to 13 at the half. We're back with more right after this. At the Wentz Financial Group, listening to clients, understanding their needs, evaluating their risk tolerance, and finding solutions to help them meet their goals is our ultimate responsibility. Because at the end of the day, we treat every client like their family and manage every dollar like it's ours. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Our strength is our legacy. Boundless innovation, fueled by our tradition. At the University of Akron, our path forward is here and now. Every day, we push ourselves to do what others won't. Akron raises champions. Akron nurtures genius. Because just when you think we're finished, we're just getting started. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Well, the Zips are up 20 to 13 up at Bowling Green. Let's go right back to Doink Party Stadium and watch second half highlights brought to you once again by Summa Health Systems. You know, we get the ball coming out we, and we have a good play call. We make the adjustment. And then we fumble the football. Yep. God, when we come out ready to go fumble the football, the worst thing that can happen for us, they make the throwback to the back. This is the old get in the red zone, run the back out of the backfield. That's just almost a play you got to guarantee. We got to keep our eyes over on swivel. And then we come back now, we get up a touchdown right off the bat. Instead of being 10 points ahead, being ahead, now we're tied up. They come back. This is a big stop there. Alvin Davis makes a big hit. Alvin had six tackles for the day. Nice job right there. You can see right there, Jamal Davis makes the, the tackle. Now we come back. We were, they're trying to do the pop pass or the jump ball pass, and we stop that out. Ulysses Gilbert, one of his 11 tackles, forced them to a field goal, but they're up 23-20. Again, it was the great goal line stand, though. We come back. There's Tommy Woodson throwing the ball to Austin Wolf. That's a senior group right there. They have been together a long time. We come back to Wolf, who had five catches, uh, four catches, I'm sorry, for 68 yards. Comes back to Wolf again. It's Kobe Booker, one of our true freshmen, 270 pounds, true freshman. He's going to be a great player for us, I believe, and does a good job there. There's Van Edwards, who had 70 yards, again, making tough yards. You can see the end zone there at the edge of the screen. We've got the ball down. There's Tommy Woodson. What a great fake that was. Everybody on the defense thought the yeah. running back had the ball. He comes by, gets the score, and we've jumped out ahead, a four-point lead. And how important that is, their defense, their, their team comes back. Nice tackle there, just. Josh Ward makes the play. Kyron Brown, nice tackle there. If you're going to catch him, keep him in front of you, and he does a great job there. As our defense comes up with play after play, their quarterback makes the scramble. I mean, Brian Bell comes back. Nice tackle by Brian Bell in the open field. Uh, good to see him playing so well. Now, here's the big play. They grab it. Uh, it looks like a big play, but they hold our end. You can see the flag come out. 
Big holding call. We had five yards in penalties. It was one. It was That's our right. best night. We made a commit, but we're not going to have penalties. We had five yards in penalties the entire night. There's their play. It was fourth down. I believe we stop them right here. No, there's the fumble. Great job. Cause the fumble. Get the ball back. Who is that got the ball? Uh, Deontay Moore, Moore gets the recovery. Great job, Deontay out of Kenmore High School. Makes the recovery right there. We come back. Tommy Woodson throwing the ball on the sideline. Oh, man, just kind of threw it. They made a great play. Uh, I thought there was pass interference on the call. They didn't call it. They get the ball back. We've got to come up as a defense and make the stop uh, and hold them here. We have a big key stop right here. Great job on the defense right there making the stop. Looks like it's going to be a fourth down. We get the ball back. Nice, nice, nice job running the ball right at the middle between the tackles, breaking tackles. All of our backs are tough backs. They're, they're, they're power running backs, and they did a great job. We make a good first down or two. Darian Davis makes the great tackle here to stop him right there. There's the big pick that ends it right here. Kyron Brown makes the pick, runs for the touchdown, gives us the 11-point lead now in the fourth quarter. What a big play for our defense. And, again, so proud of Kyron Brown and that end our defense for coming on so strong at the end. And now what we've got to do is make one more play to stop their offense and get first downs. This yeah. is so important. We had three or four first downs in this drive. I'm not sure how many it was. We were going to run the ball almost every play and get first downs. You can see those chains out there and how hard these guys are running. I think the quarterback's going to keep for this first down. There's the handoff right there. Makes the fake. He's got to get two yards. Dives across for the goal. On. That keeps the clock running, and it forces them to use all their timeouts. All these, all these first downs we're getting here are vital to win the game. Could have won the game last week if we'd have gotten one right. more first down against Troy. And um, there's a big mess up by them on their last drive that we make the big, big hit. Deontay Moore, another nice play for Deontay Moore. And they will, we'll sack him or at least cause him to throw the bobble pad. That's the last play of the game right there. Again, to put pressure on him. So nice to come away from a win. I mean, a conference win is so good to be 1-0. These boys know they're 1-0 in the conference sure. facing their second conference game, and, and that's kind of where we wanted to be, you know. A couple things to think about. I thought the secondary played well. Big plays from Alvin Davis and Kyron Brown, and I thought the offensive line late in the game opened up some holes that get you those three first that, downs. That's exactly right. Those yards, that plays, running plays that were going for one or two yards in the first half were going for eight or nine right. yards in the second half as they continued to, to work hard to establish to, uh, their blocks. You're right. The running game, we had 178 yards rushing, yeah. uh, and that was very, very encouraging. And that was probably the reason why we were able to keep their offense off the field in the second half. Talking about big plays from the secondary, how about Kyron Brown as we take a look at whatever it takes moment of the game, brought to you each week by Brian Heaty and Coolin. The Zips leading 27-23 in the fourth quarter. Full point and quarterback lead. Kyron Brown. Kyron Brown takes off the pick. They tried to throw the hitch route. He read it perfectly, made the break, made the interception, made the touchdown. As a backup last year, he led our team interception. Yeah. So he has a great knack for reacting to the ball. He closes very well. That's what they say uh, in the big leagues. He has great closing speed. Yeah. He can react back to the football. And that's what he does very, very well. Who stock is rising? Brought to you each week by the Wentz Financial Group. Sophomore linebacker from Monroe, Michigan. How about John Laco? He's going to have to play a lot of football for yeah, you. Yeah, made 10 tackles for us. Andrew Hauser got hurt, sprained an ankle. Uh, John Laco came in. He's about 6'4", 225. Does a nice job, nice tackle right there. You know, the more comfortable he gets in that role, yeah. the better he is now because he's a very smart does a nice job making tackles. We've got to get a little bit better at our run game, run defense, and, and really shutting teams down. But Laco really stepped up and made some outstanding plays there in the middle of our defense. I think Laco was a walk-on at the beginning with, Absolutely. Right? Andrew Hauser as well. But these yeah. guys are from great football programs. They understand how to play football. They're very smart. Their football IQ is off the charts. And that's what makes them great leaders. Because the middle linebacker kind of sets. He's like, he's like the, the quarterback sure. of the defense. It used to be the safety in the old days. It's now the middle linebacker. And Andrew Andrew Hauser and now John Laco have both been very, very good at getting people lined up. As Coach said, the Zips right now 1-0 in the Mid-American Conference. Big win over Bowling Green. We're going to come back and award our Players of the Week for the big win over the Falcons right after this. Sir Jeremy, you are a true friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. dilly. Madam Susan, you are an even truer friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. dilly, dilly. What is that? This is a spiced honeymead wine that I have really been into lately. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the Pit of Misery. I'm sorry, what? Pit of Misery! Dilly dilly! Dilly dilly! Here's to the friends you can always count on. It takes attention to detail. 
With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant. Whatever it takes. It takes air comfort to keep your home comfortable this winter. Find us at aircomfortohio.com. Well, it's always fun to award our Players of the Week, especially after a big win over Bowling Green. Let's take a look at our Offensive Player of the Week. He's the guy that's coming back and getting back to the form that we saw last year, Austin Wolf, Coach. He injured the first three games. He made three catches for 68 yards. This was the big one here for a touchdown, about 47 yards, touchdown right there. Uh, got open, Woodson recognized the coverage, made the quick throw for a touchdown. He is kind of our go-to receiver, and we've got to make sure when we direct the ball to that side of the field, he needs to be in the football game. Nice big catch there, huge catch there. Uh, quarterback and receiver just on the same page. Another Paul come back right to him on the short hitch route, fights for a couple of extra yardage, and is doing a great job. Austin's our veteran. He's yeah. been there a long time playing, so and he's got great speed and size. And so we need him to have a great game every game because that's what we're seeing right now. For the second straight week, Jordan George had an outstanding game at quarterback, Coach. Gosh, he has. He had a fumble recovery, uh, had an interception, and made four tackles, two unassisted, ta two, two assisted tackles for six total. Great job there. And uh, he's just a good pe – he plays hard. Yeah. He's just a good player, great size. He just makes the pick up here. But, again, that's the extra point that was, that was blocked and pick that ball up there. But George's done a great job. You'll see him right here doing a great job making the play right there. Nice job. Caused the fumble right there. Caused the fumble. Great job by him. And uh, he's just doing a great job. He's one of those guys that, uh, that you can't get enough of him on the field because he played safety. He's played cornerback. He just finds a way. He plays nickel. Finds a way to help us win. Looks like the secondary, the corners and the safeties have probably been the most consistent group you've had this year. They're They've been well. very good. They have. They have. They've done a great job of not letting yeah. the deep ball get behind them too often. And uh, uh, they've really shown a group, and their nickel back as well. Yeah. So they've done a great job. Uh, Mike Woodson and Otis Mounds are Mike. I mean Mike Woodford yeah. and Otis Mounds are two secondary coaches have done an outstanding job with them. Special teams, the guy you just talked about, Coach sophomore Deltron Sands uh, returned uh, 62 yards, I think, in kickoff returns. The longest was 34. Yeah, we got it about the almost to the 40 yard line on a couple of big returns. Here Did a great job here, getting back to the middle of the field, cutting up. He's going to be a great running back for us too. He's also a, t a tailback. Makes a great run there. And uh, he transferred in from Oregon State. He's from, from Miami. We recruited him out of high school. Here's another one of his returns. He's just getting his feet wet now. Uh, but he's not a freshman. He's, a, he, he's young, but he's transferred and had some playing experience. There's the ball up to the 37-yard line. And, you know, with the loss of Warren Ball, he's now the third team back. But in the running back position, you see a lot of backs have to carry the ball because they just get hit, you know, hit all the time. And so we're, we're awful thankful he's with us. He's not JoJo Natson, but he's pretty good. Huh? Yeah, he is. He's pretty good. He's from the same neck of the woods. And he has the ability to make big plays. All these backs uh, have a pretty good ability to make big plays. There you go. We're going to come back. We've got homecoming coming up Saturday. Ball State coming to town. We're back with a little look at the Cardinals right after this. I don't know if I would be here today without all of their help and their support. <laughs> they were, they were out of this world fabulous. They treated me like I was a guest more than a patient. The caregivers really are the true rock stars, aren't they? Every patient deserves and should have the care that I'm getting it soon. They're my doctors, but they're my friends. I'm cancer free because of them. With every patient, every day, Summa Health delivers personal, life-changing care. The difference with One's Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Well, the Zips jump right back into the Mid-American Conference on Saturday. Homecoming, Coach. Ball State coming to town. I always like homecoming. Get to meet some of our old alum and some of our old players yeah. come back and get to see the university. People wonder sometimes how football fits in to major universities. It brings people back. Homecoming is a great chance to bring alumni back to see the university that they're a part of. And you got a chance to really get some momentum in the conference with another win. Well, I mean, Ball State, we, we were able to beat them last year, but they're a much improved team this year, and they'll come in with the same concern. Yeah. 
concerns yeah. that we have. They want to win conference football games. So I think every battle we've got is going to be a battle. We've got to be ready to play four quarters, to play every phase of our game, uh, to get better each week and take them one game That's at right. a time. And this week is Ball State. 3.30 kickoff, yes. Coach. We'll see you there at InfoCision Stadium. Sounds great. For Head Coach Terry Bowden, I'm Joe Dunn. Thanks for watching. Back next week with more University of Akron football. And remember, go Zips. Zips Football with Terry Bowden, presented by Wentz Financial Group, was brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn. Proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. By your Akron Canton Bryant Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime.